Hello amazing developers and welcome to the Rising Tide. I am Darlington and I am thrilled to have you here for another exciting tutorial. Whether you are diving into mobile development for the first time or you are looking to enhance your skills, you are at the right place. Today we will be diving into the world of React Native Development with Expo in 2024. So before we get started, you need to make sure that you have no chairs on your computer. To check, to check if you have it, simply open the terminal by searching for terminal on your machine or pressing the command Ctrl Alt to open it. Once you have it open, let me zoom in a little bit. Once you have it open, you need to type the commands node-v to check if you have node installed. Now, if you don't have node, simply go to node.js.org, I'll link it in the description, and download node for your, for your computer, that is if you're using Windows. However, if you're using an, uh, a Linux distribution like myself, what you're going to do is you're going to type the command sudo app install node.js now i already have it installed so you're just going to skip through it now if you don't have it installed it's going to install node however if you are if you're using an older version of node.js what you will notice is that you have something when you type node hyphen v you have something like node version 10.0 or something what you have to do is you need to type sudo npm install iphone g n now n is the package manager that is, in G, that is responsible for migrating the different node versions so i already have n installed so with n what you need to do is say n sudo n stable this will upgrade your node version to the latest stable version of node that is available at the time of recording this video the latest version is node 20.11 which is what i'm using currently but for you it's going to upgrade it to the latest stable version so once you have node and npm installed on your machine what you're going to do next is you're going to navigate to your project directory this is the folder where you want to create your project. So I'm going to do so by saying cd into the documents folder. I have a folder called code and a folder called mobile inside. This is where I'm going to be working. This is my project directory. As you can see, it is empty. So once you are at your project directory, you need to run the command npx create expo app and you give it the name of the app i'm just going to combine my app so this is the command that is responsible for uh, downloading all the necessary dependencies for your mobile application and setting up or uh, your local repository as you can see mine is uh, downloading so you just need to this may take some few minutes so i'm going to pause the recording here and i'm going to come back once it has finished downloading okay so the installation process has completed as you can see it says your project is ready and it gives you the commands you need to start running expo so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say cd into my app and as you can see it has built created all these files i'm going to run code period this is going to open the app in my code editor my default code editor for me it is vs code let me zoom in a little bit for you guys so what we'll do now is we're going to open the terminal by clicking terminal, new terminal, or using the shortcut Ctrl Shift till open the terminal. Once you have the terminal open, you're going to run the server by running the command 
yarn start what i love to do is i love to use yarn as my package manager instead of npm because uh, it is generally faster and it is a it is a better package manager than npm so i prefer using yarn for to run my server so i'm going to run yarn start and hit enter now this is going to compile uh, all the all your project and then it's going to run it so just give that a, a minute and as you can see it has finished building the, the application and it's giving you all these commands you need to run the app on your different the devices so for this tutorial we will be connecting it directly to our mobile device uh, you can also use an emulator such as Android Studio to run it on your device on your Android emulator all what's left for you to do now is open your Google Play Store and search for the Expo app once you have it installed you're going to install the app once you have it installed you're going to open the app and click on scan code now once you hit the scan code button it's going to open the camera it's going to show you the QR code so you so what you do now is you come to your running server and then you just scan this QR code that is running right now let me, let me. when you scan it it's going to uh, build the app for the bundle the app for that particular device so since it's development this is a development server it's going to be just for that particular device so you can um, test during development this may take several minutes so i'm going to pause the recording here and i'm going to come back in a few minutes once that has completed As you can see, the building has completed on my device. It took this amount of time for it to finish building, bundling all the dependencies for my uh, phone. And yeah, that is everything. Uh, what you notice is once the app started, you see something like some default text, such as open app.js, start working on your app. This is uh, like your root of the app so if you want to start building you just need to come and start modifying this file and creating your own photos and files when necessary uh, that is all for this video please like if you have any questions please comment down below there's a link to a discord server down in the description please feel free to ask your questions down there i will personally reply to all questions that are being asked in the Discord server. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.